Alright guys, after 7 hours of God of War, I am ready to give you guys my first impressions about this game. We're talking about one of the hottest games of 2018, and I'm finally ready to let you guys know exactly how I feel about it. So let's start off with the graphics and the overall feel of God of War. What is this? So of course God of War is going to be graphically impressive, nobody thought it was going to look different otherwise, but it's the little things that make the biggest difference. The lighting and shadows in this game are perfect and Kratos' new camera angle gets you right in the middle. It creates a sense of immersion and a different feel in each environment. Now just like previous games, God of War isn't necessarily an open world game, but it has these big interactive areas with puzzles and loot. But the game does a good job of blending these areas together to give the players more of an open world experience. The biggest part of this God of War game is the story, and more specifically, the relationship between Kratos and his son Atreus. Kratos and his son Atreus set off to go scatter the ashes of his wife on top of a mountain, and it proves to be a bigger task than most, and Kratos doubts his son's ability to do this task. Now throughout the story we see moments of Kratos trying to be a father to his son, but there's something consistently holding him back. Instead of being a father to his son, he kinda is more like a commander to a private, and the effects of that show on Atreus as I go deeper into the story. Now this piece to the story alone is the best player progression I've seen in a while in any video game story. It's so interesting and it's the driving force throughout the story so far. Also, the small group of supporting cast that they have on this game are absolutely amazing. They make their intentions very clear and they're just fantastic characters. I just don't understand how the dwarves keep getting in certain places before me. I just don't. I, I still don't get it. Now combat this time around is a little bit different. It takes a more strategic style which is way different from the crazy blades flying style from the previous God of War games. Now the Leviathan axe is awesome. It has short range attacks, long range attacks, and it feels amazing when you throw it and it comes back to you. It gives your controller a little bit of a vibration every time and it never gets old. God of War also has a decent in-depth kind of upgrade system that gives you a bit of an RPG element element also Atreus can be upgraded and it's the best thing in battle he gets awesome perks and it helps you especially when you're surrounded or if you find yourself with too many enemies which is good because you don't know necessarily what you're going to get from a standalone AI following you around all the time but Santa Monica Studios has done a great job of implementing Atreus into the new fighting system now should you rent buy or skip out on god of war i'm gonna let you know why did my light always turns off on me it always does now should you rent buy or skip out on god of war i'm gonna tell you right now we're talking about the best game of 2018 you do not want to miss it and if you have a playstation 4 and you're not talking about getting this game why do you even have a playstation 4 you're not taking full advantage of it to be honest with you so yes buy it now uh, let's get in the comments, talk about God of War, please no spoilers, but let's talk about God of War, let's talk about a little bit of the story, make sure you guys like and subscribe to the channel, we are doing awesome stuff, as I'm recording right now, we have 68, let's get to 70, right before I go on vacation, within another couple weeks here, so yeah, you guys take it easy, Curtis Russell with the Soul Dojo, alright, peace.